and come back to Christ, yeah. you know more Gentile. Because okay. you was carried away being Gentile. Okay. With dumb idol. Yeah. Well, Verse 12. Read. That at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. So you're being alienated yeah. from the way of Amashiach Yerushai. Okay. So that's why you become Gentile because like we're in a Britain right now. Yeah. If we have followed the oppressor and choose all I am with, yeah. we become gentile like him, gentile That's state right. of mind. Understand. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read. And strangers from the covenant of the promise, mm -hmm. having no hope and without God in the world. So we now have no hope if we keep on that we have mind. You understand? Yeah. And we now have no power around us. So let me rephrase that. If, right. if, um, if the white man come and then uh, follow the law and then accept message so he's no more gentile no okay. he can't accept this because this never gave unto him well, how would he can he, how can he judge that no give me um um you know more get me well, psalm get me psalm chapter um 40 psalm 40 um 7 47 verse um 19 the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 19. He shall go to the generation of his No, no, no. Psalms 106. Yeah. Psalms 149. Psalms 149, verse 19. He show his word unto Jacob. 149. Oh. Psalms 147 and 19. Good man. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. So the Lord not show him word unto no other people. He show him word unto Jacob. You know what Jacob? Yeah, that's the, the roots of. Uh, yeah. That, that's the um, patriarch of the 12th tribe of Israel. Yeah. So the Lord will show the statue unto him. He will show it to no more nation. Why? Because what the Lord will be. Give me, um, give me um, uh, Isaiah chapter 55, uh, start at 9. Isaiah 55 and 9. For as the heavens are high, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than yours, than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh no, down, read from here, chill up here. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. For as my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, yeah, save the Lord. Know why, right? Yeah. So the Lord has talked to you. Well, Lord said. Read up here. Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My way, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Right. That's right. Okay. So, you see, so that, that's his decision. But the man won't try to fool you. Yeah. Really, you can't mix with the man. <laughs> you can't mix with it. Because people ways and your ways are true. Right, right, right. We have ways are evil and corrupt. Right. Your ways are love. Right, right. So you have a call of evil. Right. Then you must serve me. Right, right. So, you, you ask your man where the Lord sent him to this earth to do theme. He's a sword of the heavenly father. Yeah. Right? Because he's the wicked of the earth. Did you know that? Yeah. You know him the wicked of the earth? Yeah. So why do you want to see the wicked of the earth? The Lord put him here to do a job. And the Lord put Jacob here to do a theme job. So you have good and evil. You have to have a balance. You can't just have be good. You can't just have be evil. You have to have a good fit. A balance. Yeah. See? So I saw the Lord at work right now. You have a picture, man? This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 12. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord said, Hate this man, man. Because the biblical name is Esau. Yeah. That's the so called white man. The biblical That's name of right. the Bible yeah. is Esau. Esau. Right. Isa is a, is a, is a uh, Aramaic or Hebrew? Isa what? Isa. 
which language well, you write from? Is it Aramaic or Hebrew? Hebrew. Or Hebrew? Hebrew. Let's say Hebrew. I Sasha. Isa means I Sasha. We are still a woman. In the Hebrew. In the Hebrew. Yeah. So basically, Isa in this term just means red. 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 And you look around, that's how you know Isa are children. Yeah. They're red. Yeah. Right? So at the end of the day, man, we know who we will position ourselves again and who we will bring forth in our tabernacle. We can bring forth a hero in our tabernacle because we want to trample it. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will choose Israel. So the Lord, the Lord will have mercy upon us. Might I go through a situation now where they look like that? Why we are live the way we are live? Nobody no like it. But the Lord said, I'm going to have mercy upon Jacob, read. And set them in their own land. Right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So the strangers are the other nations. Okay. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So all of them are going to cleave to the house of Jacob. Read. Yeah. Okay. Read on, read on. Okay, okay. Um, this we got the we got the piece of the food. Okay. Why you get the understanding what the art just read? Okay. Because he said the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and he was going to yet choose Israel, right, and set them in their own land, and the strangers, right. Isaiah 14 and start at one. Isaiah 14 and start at one. Isaiah 14 and one. Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So we the Israelites are going to take the people them and bring them unto our own place that is the land of Israel. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. So we are going to possess them in the land of Israel. Read. For servants and handmaids. So we are going to possess them for a servant and handmaid. What servant and handmaid? Why? You ask me why. No, let me ask you a question. What is a servant and a handmaid? A no, servant and a handmaid. Uh, a servant is someone who serves you. Right. So they are going to have a whole slave. Yes, yeah, slave. Uh, another, another way. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. So right now, we have them people that are captive, you know. Right now, are we you, Are you trust, sorry, man. Are you trusting me literally? If you translate me, I read it as though it is clean up and table. Because I, I found that very. Uh, if the Lord is saying that, to take another human captive as slave, giving giving order to an assassination, to take another another nation as, as slaves. And we know how slaves are, are treated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For me that's just an injustice. Yes. So to a fellow so, human. Well uh, meet up on the boat, you know. A human can do it out of his own evil desire, evil mind. A human can do it. So what are but for, a, for the Lord Almighty to give the explicit the order, give an order. Mm. You know, that's what, that's, that's what I call problem. Okay, so the Lord, get me, get, read up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, read, you get what I'm coming from. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm going to show you, so the Lord do all of these things. The Lord orchestrate everything. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, mm. verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So the Lord said, He might bring us into slavery again. I remember Israelites in us Egypt before, right? Yeah. What they were what will happen to them and I need Pharaoh? They, they were talking to slavery. Yeah, what Pharaoh did I do to them? Pharaoh took them back to the no, not Pharaoh, Moses. Moses came and took them back. Right, so before Moses took them, what they were doing? Uh, they were slavery. Right, so the yeah. Lord said, you might bring us into Egypt again. With what? With ship. With ship. So how did we left from the west coast of Africa and go to the Caribbean, to the Americas? Did we fly on a plane? No. Uh, how did we reach there? Ship. 
So this is prophecy. Written 2,000 years before it happened. Right? Hi. So this is prophecy fall from me. So me not the Bible, me I read by myself. You understand? What, what did we do to deserve that? We are read prophecy. We are going to tell you what you did to deserve it. Read on now. As whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there it shall be sold unto your enemies. To your friend, huh? Unto your enemies. So the people um, who they have upon action black, the Lord so we are them are we enemy. Not your friend. Because your friend wouldn't put up an action block and say, three, five, five hundred, four hundred. Soul! Would your friend do that, man? So the Lord called them your enemy. So if the Lord said them are your enemy, who these people be that took us off the boat? They were enemies. That's right. right. So we have to follow what the Lord says. Me can't use my own mind. Because I get me Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. May I go show you if you follow your own mind. Yo, you are going to lead us straight. Chapter 17, verse 9. Read. The heart is deceitful above all things. Mm -hmm. And this is desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. Say, say. Read on. Who can know it? Who can know it, man? So, I understand. So, it's not like uh, the will of God for the black man to be tortured, to be enslaved, but he prophesied that it will happen. Because he's will. all knowing. Right. But it's not his will, it's not it's not from his will that right. we, we be No no I'm just a Yeah question. yeah yeah we we we're gonna answer the scripture. Oh. Because I mean I like to talk about my one. Oh, right. right. Read Deuteronomy twenty eight start at one. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. What does that mean? I don't, I don't get it. All right, read over it again. Sure. And, it, sure. and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. What does that mean? That we, we have to do all his commandments. If you observe and do all his commandments, good listening, read. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So you hear what the Lord say? Yeah. The Lord say, if you do what I tell you if you do, may I put you upon high. Uh, yeah. Above what? Above all, all nations that are so upon the earth. So hold on. Earth. You know, sir, you see, sir, no equality now there. The Lord yeah. say, ah. if you put you above all nations, if you do, what I'm saying. Yeah. But here the flip side, 1 to 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. So you understand that? Yes, I've, I've read this passage roughly. Yeah, but what I what I what I found is that all those punishments, that the flip side of the situation, like all those punishments, most of them haven't really occurred. Them not occurred. No. Why like, is it like, like uh, maybe it's the wrong right passage, but it's it said like um, like it will curse the Israelites if they don't keep the commandment in this way. Like they will be they will eat their own children, and then yeah, there will be disaster in the land, and then. Yeah, like they will, uh, they will eat one another. Like so when, no, it but that say, never happened in history. But listen, right? It's in the book of Solomon. Yeah. Woman eat our children. But we're not going to write this right now. Yeah, but yeah. here, what may I say to you? Yeah. You say, basically, the Lord said, um, read, read, read. Um, yeah. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. So the Lord says, the man that was tender amongst each other, yeah. I shall be evil towards each other. Right? Yeah. So who and who are killing each other in the street? Black people do, but other people do as well. We are talking about on a wide spectrum yeah. who's doing it the most frequent. Frequently, yeah, and we can say what the news they, they show you in the news that black men always fight one another. Right. So you know, you know, in the US, in, in the UK, even in Africa. Like, so the, the Bible, I tell you why uh -huh. this will happen. Yeah. Right. The Lord says this will happen if we don't listen to him. Yeah. 
Read on her. And toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave. So Ushman does get up out of house and while left him children them and I look for them again. And you have single mother in the house. Yeah, most, yeah, I've heard, I've, I've, yeah, I've heard like most of the, no, I'm not being, but well, most of the Jamaican, I've heard that the Caribbean, they got a lot of children, mm -hmm. even in my, in my country as well, they got a lot of uh, black people, they got like five, five children, different And they get up and walk them, them. Yeah, they go. Uh, right. I've, I've heard, like, so these are prophecy for that us, read 40. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against what, what? thee. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. So you hear the Lord say, you have to serve the enemy when they are sent against you. Oh, you get around that, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Bible accurate. All right. This Bible is, you see the word, a life, their spirit. Get me John chapter 6, verse 23. Right? But, is there any other interpretation of this? No. no the, the book is no private interpretation. I should read that before you. The Lord said, I'm going to make it clear up on the table. The Lord said, uh, get me, get me, get me, Baru. Get me, Baru. Abaku, chapter, chapter 2. That's a spirit. Uh, this is sorry. That's a spirit. Yeah, 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 finish yeah. Yeah. In hunger and in thirst. And in want and in nakedness and in want of all things, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right. Because when it said put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, we used to have yoke of iron yeah. for our neck. We used to have That's yoke right. of iron for our hand and foot. But yeah. well, you see, if you have a dog, right? And your dog knew, you have to tie him up. Yeah. So till he knew you. And then when he knew you, what you do? You take off it, the lead off of him, because he's not going away. So this is what happened to us. When them captured our forefather, right, and them dead and gone, them raise up the children. Yeah. So when you raise up the children, you teach them what you want to teach them. So when you teach them what you want to teach them, obviously, you have to have them your way. You understand? Because you train. Yeah. And you see how oh, you come in, you perceive to say, boy, yo, the white man can't save him, man. You can't bring him in, man, to go and change him ways. But the Lord says, if not go on, none of them in the house, because the Lord says we are going to slave them for a hundred years, and then we will get rid of them. So says the Bible. You understand? So we, this is our truth. Yeah, and we have to hold on to this because we know basically this a man who go to church, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. You know we go to church? No. See, it's for you have to understand but I, Christianity. I, 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 I just have open mind, isn't it? Like, okay. open mind, look at this too. This is different. <laughs> like, read the Bible, but then this whole thing about, um, is because the way you are interpreting these verses, if I think about it on a modern society, it makes sense. It makes, it makes, it makes, it makes a lot of sense. Do you know what I mean? But then, I think the way the the, the, those, the, the author of the Bible, I don't think it intends to be for the for those verses to be interpreted this way. Do you know what I mean? Because if you go to any other Christian and then you interpret those verses this way, like we are the yeah, this all those curses are befallen upon us today in this manner. They yeah. will say no. They will say they will disagree. Most of them. Yeah. I, I, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just it's a, for me it's a new information. Uh, yeah. First, first Peter chapter four verse um, eleven. Because we we deal with what's been written. Because again, me was in the Christian church before. I'll be there in that sleep. You understand? Because when them play music or whatever them do in the man, yo, I be a talk out of them own mind. So do, do you do you have uh, any way of worship? This is, this is where we this is today. No, like at home, at home with family life. Yeah man. Yes. How do you do it? We just basically read the scripture okay. and break it down. Okay. And um that's all we worship. 
Yes, I can. Let's oh. read the Bible. You don't like bow down. Of course, man. When you bow down, yeah. you humble yourself. Yeah, humble yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because the Lord loves a humble servant. Humble servant, yeah. We can't boast full and Lord warm. Mm -hmm. No. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the, ver the, vi the visions and make it plain upon the table. So these scriptures are plain upon the table, my brother. Yeah. Right? But here we right. are. You will read and you fly over your head, you know. Because what? We have to keep the law, statute, and commandment. Right? Get me that in Psalms. Get me Psalms. A hundred, a hundred and eleven, verse ten. Psalms 111, verse 10. Right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all things that do his commandments. So we have to do the heavenly father commandments so he give us understanding. Yeah. And you have to fear the Lord. So once you fear the Lord, it's like you have a father or your mother. And them tell you to do certain things. You know what them read, you know what them spank you because what? You fear your father beat you or you fear your mother beat you. So the Lord said, the fear of the Lord at the beginning of wisdom. So, well, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it to a whole different yeah, uh, level. I mean, what, how would you uh, interpret this? Um, John 1.1. 1, 1. John 1.1? 1, 1. Yes. Uh, for, get that. No, read, read, read Peter first. Um, get John 1 now. Um, first Peter chapter 3. Um, first Peter chapter um, 4, verse 11. Um, no, no, the gospel. John, John, John. John, yeah. Read, read. First Peter chapter 4, 4 verse, verse 11. 11. Yeah. If any man speaks, speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So you see, I, when you ask questions, may I go in at the book? Yeah, yeah. That's the oracle. Yeah, read. Yeah, yeah. If any man ministers, let him do it as of the ability which God given. Right. Okay. So That's we agreed for the ability where the Lord gave unto us. Yeah. Right. Um, we just say, we just say, um, basically, we, we, what did you just say? I said, how would you interpret? Um, uh, John 1-1. John 1-1. Right. We, John 1-1. John 1-1. Yeah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right. Read. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. This is talking about Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, before you go, can I ask you earlier? Okay, so I've, I've done my research about this verse, and I've read, um, I don't know if you if you are familiar with a guy called Philo. Who? Philo. Philo. How about Heraclitus? Plato. Heraclitus. No. Okay, so these are Greek philosophers. So these these guys, there was um, that is um, that is a philosophical terminology called logos in, in uh, Koine Greek. It's called logos. So the logos is the is a unifying unification of elements of two of the opposites. All right. So most of these, um, I don't know if you know about the the Hellenistic Judaism. Hellenistic. Yeah, the Hellenistic Judaism. So basically, the Hellenistic Judaism, they have a belief that says that Moses was, is the Messiah. Moses is the Messiah and Moses is the Logos. And the, lo the, the Logos is being translated as the Word, right. which is in John 1.1. 1, 1. Right. And the Logos is an ancient Greek philosophical terminology that all, most of, if not all of them, all the Greek philosophers they use to, to express their philosophical mentality or argument, you know? I mean, but then there, there is this guy called Heraclitus, he brought this idea about uh, the word. So who is this guy? He, he, is, he is a Jew. He's a Greek. He's a Jew. He's a Jew of a Greek education. Is he a Jew, a Hebrew? Uh, he's a Jew. He's a white Jew. He's a white Jew. So listen, big, uh, them, them can't bring nothing to me, man. Yeah, but then, you, bring, you have to come from the scripture. Yeah, right? Where, where I'm coming from, let me make my point here. Yeah. Please. Just give me two minutes. So the word logos. Give me Colossians. 
the word the word logos was translated into English as the word. But then if you go into the Greek word of word is Lexis. But then logos, uh, the one that John used to say in the beginning was the word and the word was God. It's, it's the word logo that was translated into word. Word. I don't, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because logos is, 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 was existing way before Jesus. And the even uh, Heraclitus logos existed way before Jesus. Way before Jesus. But Jesus was the uh, logos existed before Jesus. Yeah. Jesus was the one that formed the earth and the world. Read that man. Colossians chapter one, verse fourteen. Man. This, this, is the, this is Colossians chapter one and verse fourteen. In whom we have remission of sins through his blood. Right. Even even the forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. He is the image of the invisible the heart of God, mm -hmm. the firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of what? Every creature. So who when in front of Jesus man? You see the philosophy, my brother. Get me um what do you have? What, what do you have? Get me um um first Corinthians chapter three, start at nineteen. I'm gonna show you. Look at this world. We don't subscribe to nothing in this world, because be a lie them tell you. Read, read, read that. The first Corinthians chapter, chapter 3, verse 19. 3 verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. Mm -hmm. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Right. Now, finish our read of that one. He take the wise in their own craftiness. So don't come with craftiness for blind me in your eyes. The reason, why, the reason why I brought it up is because I think John, mm. the theologian, or John the Apostle, the guy that wrote that, he, he took this idea from this ancient Greek philosophy. Well, when we get to understand. Like, like the word was with God. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then he made the word and God the same. So there, there is a, a, a saying that said, you cannot step in the same water twice. So as the river flows, as the river flows, so it changes. But it's the same river. So. Well, John take this philosophy from like the father mm -hmm. and the son and all the, the word are the same. Are one. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I mean? So this is the whole idea unifying word, unifying God the and the Son making them one. That They're not the one. They're not one. They're not one. No. Okay. Because I read read that one. Verse 16. Verse read read it over again. Start over. Okay. This is Colossians chapter one and verse 14. Raise up your voice, Kaya. In whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins who is the image of the invisible god the image of the invisible god this is jesus read the firstborn of every creature mm -hmm. for by him were all things created mm -hmm. that are in heaven and that are in earth mm -hmm. visible and invisible visible and invisible read whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers mm -hmm. all things were created by him and for him everything created by him and for him right so he was here the first man right so everything come after man you understand so, so they might go build they might go bring forth certain things to stream in your mind from the real way of life from the truth you don't believe that jesus is god no jesus is not god he's not god because he's the but son of god because john john 1 1 makes him god john, john 1 1 make him create everything yeah right god created me. Huh? God created. Him create everything. God created. Let's read that again. Are you not? You not? Let's read that. No, no. I just want to know who created everything. Is it God or Him? Him create everything. He him? was in the Yahweh side. I'm not sure the Yahweh side, right? Is that again? Jesus Christ is the man that we have been talking about. The, the brown eye, the red eye man. You know what I mean? He's a human. He's not God. No, he, let me read only this. God creates everything. Let me read this. Let me read this here. This that's is, my philosophy. That's why I believe. Okay. This is John chapter 14, verse 10. He said, Believe thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, Amen. but the Father that de deliv delivered in me, he does the work, right? So Jesus, we, are called a, we, we, we know him as a Mashiach, the house, right? Mashiach. Because the slave ship yeah. is named Jesus, okay. right? And J, 
just come into existence. Yeah, J is not in a cemetery. Right, right. Yeah. Because we know, say, at the end of the day, J is just like 400 years old. Yeah, the J walk everything. Right. right. So at the end of the day, let me read, um, get me John chapter, John chapter 15, slack here, John 19 and 20. John chapter 19 verse 20. It's the book of St. John chapter 19 verse 20. This title then read many of the Jews to the place where Yahweh was crucified was nigh to the city. And it said. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. It was written in what? In Hebrew, Greek and Latin. It was written in Hebrew, Greek and Latin. Yeah. Right? Hebrew, Greek, Greek and Latin. Right. So why would tell us the same name Amashiach Yahweh? That's the Hebrew. Yeah. It's an title when it's written. So when you say, when you call him Jesus, that's a Greek word. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, we prescribe to the Hebrew because we are Hebrew Israelite. Awesome. Hebrew just beat out away. Yeah. Right? But we have come back with the understanding because in Hebrew, we can, we can talk to you in Hebrew to a certain level. Yeah, now I have to go, but I just want to make my point. Now you understand. What's, what's my problem? It's about making uh, the creator him. Do you know what I mean? You said it's him the creator everything. John 1.1, 1, 1, make him God. Make the word God. The, the word and God, they are the same. Well, you know God, I mean? God just means... For me, it's, uh, God it's just a mean, God just means um, power. Yeah, my mean, okay, let's not use the word God. Let's talk about the creator of the heavens and the earth and everything that exists. For me, it's not the historical Jesus. The historical Jesus, as he said, I do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judge is judged. Do you know what I mean? So I came not on my own, but he was sent. Many, if you read the, the New Testament, in many places, he refers to himself as, as uh, the son of God, like as the father of God. Yeah, just like what read. And then he even in some, some passage, he make a parable, he said that, said in, the parable said that it's the, the, the sender and the sent equal. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This, the what? The sender. Yeah. I mean, the sender will send the son. Yeah. Are they equal? Are, are they equal? No. They're not equal. No. Yeah, so you cannot make the, the word and God equal. But John, in John 1 1, okay, right. make, him, make them equal. No, they're not equal. You just have to read with understanding. Right. You see Maybe me? Because that's the understanding. Yeah, you have to read with understanding for Noah's boy. He was sent by the Father. Yeah. Right? Man, because yes. at the end of the day, we don't care. We are the sons of God. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So we being the sons of God, yeah. basically, the one that Amashi, Yahweh, that's yeah. his 